Heidi Borchers has been digging around that recycling bin again. Today she is joining us with a terrific tin can project. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tiff. Thanks so much. Yes, I definitely have been in the recycle bin. Every time I take one of these and put it into the recycle bin, it just really annoys me. So I thought, well, I need to make something out of them. How many of you throw these away every single day and a lot of them? So what you're going to do is you're going to make it into a gift. And this is where the Christmas comes in because I made a little gift can where you can open it up. You can put your gift in some tissue paper and then you can close it back up and you have a really cool gift. And I made, so this one is collaged, and then this one has fabric on it, oops, <laughs> and there's the picture. So while she has the picture there, I'm going to set my camera down so that I can do the demo for you, because I've got lots to show you today. Let me get that out of the way, and put that down. There we go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is you're going to open the can. And what you need is you need an opener that's called a smooth edge or it's called a safety lid lifter. It's a special one so then when you go, when you put it on and you go around, when it comes off, the lid is separate and there's no sharp edges on the lid or the, the bottom. So whatever, whatever one you use, I mean I saw them online for like $12. I think I bought mine at like Target. So that's what you're going to need. So then we're going to take, and I've already put some of my uh, plaster, and this is the Cool to Cast, which is coming out very, very soon. And uh, I put about a quarter cup in here, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of water in a plastic bag, in the plastic bag. Now Tiffany uses um, like a, a yogurt cup to mix hers. I like to put mine in a plastic bag. And I just shake it for a few minutes. Shake, shake, shake. Tiffany, why don't you put that picture up one more time while I let me shake this enough that, because uh, it needs to shake for just a, a minute or so. And now remember too that the cans come in all kinds of sizes. So they're fun to do all kinds of shapes. There's little ones for little trinkets. And I'm not quite sure if I put too much water in this one. Okay, then what I do is I cut the corner off of my bag, and what I'm going to do is just pour it right into the lid until it fills it up. And then I kind of tap it, tap it, tap it, and then I set it aside to dry. And I have one that's already dried. Now I found, I found that you really need to let this dry overnight because if you go right away and you, um, it, it doesn't really hurt it. But if you go right away and you start, um, even when you 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 know you think it's dry, it tends to get kind of washed out. See how mine just gets washed out a little bit, but it still looks good. So let it let it sit overnight till it's not damp anymore. Now, the next thing I do is you can either use, you can use um, alcohol inks, you can use acrylic paints, you can use any kind of um, stamp pad, and what you do to color the background, and today I'm just going to use some acrylic paint and I'm going to water it down, but you can use the, um, either the acrylic paint or you can use the alcohol inks, but you want to keep the background kind of light because you're going to be putting the, um, stamps over them. Okay, so I'm going to kind of water that down a little bit and all I'm going to do is just kind of go over a little bit more water to get another color in here. Just kind of wash wash a color on the, the background. Wash. Just real light. And you can always put a little bit ba more back in but you want to make sure that you start really light. And I'll get a paper towel. I'm going to kind of damp that off, damp off the, uh, get the damp water off. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start rubber stamping it. 
So you're going to when it you know and you do need to let it dry. I'm gonna I'm kind of pushing it again because I want to show you how I covered the sides. So I'm using the agent page, and you're gonna rubber stamp. Remember, this is the dry plaster, the dry cold cast. And then I also have some little letters. In fact, I've kind of been calling these wishing boxes. I'd love to watch um, Elizabeth Diamond and giving her intention projects. And I thought this would be really cute to do wishing you. You know, I'm wishing you love. I'm wishing you happiness. So that's all there is to it to, to do the top. And then you just set it aside to dry. Now, like I said, because this one, the the water was still kind of wet, those will kind of maybe wash out a little bit, but that's okay. But this is what you get. Now, I want to show you mine up close so you can see. This is wishing you dreams come true. And this one is wishing you happiness and this one is I wish you love now the I wish you love one I put plaster on the on the side so let me quickly show you how I did that I poured my plaster out like that what I had left over and then I just took and I rolled my can in the plaster and I, I did get this plaster a little bit too thin but that's all you do and then you let it dry and let's show you that again see how this has it's the thicker plaster and then I put the um, the ancient pages on this okay next we're going to show you how to do the collage now I I love to read. I love um, romance novels, but when I pass them around to everybody and they come back to me, I a lot of times will take them and use them for my collage. And today I'm using the um, collage page of uh, Aline's collage page, and all I do, pull a little bit there, is let's see if I can get another brush here. I put the collage page onto the can. Oops. And and I put it <coughs> excuse me, I put it on the back of my paper. I always think it's fun when I use these um, the romance novels because a lot of times I can find words that I want actually in on the page that works perfect for the project that I'm doing it on. So you saw I put it on the can, put it on the back, and then I'm going over the top. Like that. Now for those of you who, who a lot of times see me on, um, on like the pajama party, you know on the back of my, behind me, I always have all kinds of little uh, containers. One, a lot of the containers that I have, I have 26 of them, where I actually cut out little things from magazines. So this is like the E bin, and this is like the, the L. So when I have extra time, I always cut out um, little words. So that works perfectly for me now because I have like this little love one, and I'm going to put it right in place like so. So anytime you have extra time, you can always um, cut out little things like that. Now, this is what I wanted to show you, too, on that, the one, see how, if you look really close, there were words here that says, um, like, golden sparks, perfect, <clears throat> you're much more fun. That's what I found in the, in the actual romance novel that I, I like to keep. This one says, love a celebration. And then here is, um, there is some musical note uh, paper, and then these are the, from the magazine dreams come true. So on the lid I put wishing you dreams come true and then I continued it on the bottom. Now when you get to this point here where you've got it all covered then I painted it with 
the acrylic paint and I just put several different layers and I just kind of sloshed it on. I didn't, you know, do it in any particular order. And then the last one here was done with fabric. And again, this one, this one says wishing you happiness. I used some rubber stamps and I used acrylic paint, but this is just fabric. And you could also cover it with, um, with paper, with like scrapbooking paper, and this little heart then is made out of the cold to cast. So we have cold to cast here, and we have cold to cast here, and then you can also put it onto the, the outside. <laughs>